Thank you so much for staying with us here, y'all. I am back with the fashionista, Brittany, right here. And now we're gonna talk about exactly what you wanna know. How can you get Fashion Pass? So let's go ahead and dive right into what to wear, what not to wear, and how we can get a plan. Yeah, so with Fashion Pass, do I go in, do I select my outfits? Can you help me? Am I able to get that, or is it up to me on my own? I guess I just have so many questions yeah, about no, which, how do I make sure I do, do it right? Most people do, so. Limited closet. It really is. I mean, it sounds like the best way to experience shopping. It's so do you shop a lot now? Fun. I have not shopped since we started, which is such a blessing, and I was actually laughing with my fiance the other day. I'm like, oh my gosh, I feel like, because we were watching a video of someone, a boyfriend or a husband shaking packages and being like, come on, this happens every day. And I was thinking to myself, like, wow, I've gotten so good at not, like, online shopping. And then I was like, oh, wait, no, I think I just created a company to curb <laughs> that addiction. So I don't know if, like, I've stopped the addiction or it's, like, multiplied. But either way, but it's helping you and it's helping others, too. It works. So it's a good, it's a win-win in my book, if you I ask agree. me. I agree. It lines up with the really big movement in today's generation, this feminist movement, and this movement towards equality and mm -hmm. something that, you know, growing up, I wasn't super exposed to, and it was nothing about my parents or about who I grew up with. It was just growing up, I was either going to be a cheer coach or I was going to be maybe a journalist or right. I was going to be a nurse or something that I saw modeled after for me. Right. But it rewrites everything. Talk about what actually goes into creating a small business, and it's no you know, small thing to dive into this. <laughs> no. So what if someone is out there, they're like, I love this idea. I had actually an idea like this on my own. Right. Maybe I should dive in and do it. What do you, what advice do you give to people? Welcome back to Millennial Millionaires with me, Mickey Neiman, as your host. And thank you so much for tuning in. Don't forget to follow my Instagram though, so you can stay updated on my life and behind the scenes of the show, at Mickey Neiman. Now today I've got something, a little change of pace for you. I have the opportunity to chat with the founder and CEO of a very unique and innovative company called Cadence. Now this is a firm that specializes in due diligence language services for the investment research industry. I know, that's a mouthful and we're gonna unpack it for you. you do you have a Chinese name yet or can I no, give you one? No, please okay. give me one, I would love one. All right, uh, uh, Mickey, is a TV host. Uh, <laughs> uh, so. I just said, you know, I'm gonna introduce you. You're a TV host and thank you for having me. How cool is that? I can barely speak English right. half the time. Right before the break, I know that you were talking about you got there, you got to Beijing and you had a lot of decisions to make. I can only imagine there are people out there that are watching this and they're thinking, how do I do this? How do mm -hmm. I take this next step? Or if they are in a hard place between a rock and a hard place, what do they do at that point? So do you mind talking about sharing your story with us? Sure. What did you do in that tough time? And what, obviously it's worked out pretty well. <laughs> sure. So kind of walk us through those stepping stones. You said goodbye to family and friends and said, I'll be back soon. Mm -hmm. Well, five years is not soon to me. Yeah. So I want to be able to unpack the fact that you were there for so long and why, and then what that transition in life was. I mean, I'm about to graduate from college and mm -hmm. I don't even know what I'm going to wear tomorrow. <laughs> right. You know what I mean? So it's those steps and those things that seem really difficult. And talking back now, I want to look back at them and kind of see how, what mindset you were in and how things were going for you. Now then, you are mm -hmm. the boss, you're calling the shots and you made that move from Beijing to LA. So I do want to talk about what that move was like and I want the viewers to be able to see what you're up to now. Sure. So stay with us because right after the break, we're going to hear way more from Matt and learn exactly what Cadence is doing today.